<laughs> this is how high we are right now. <laughs> Good afternoon guys from Karachi, Pakistan. I am here with the man Abdul who is a Karachi local and we are heading to a modern area in Karachi. So this is like a, a modern city just outside of Karachi sorry and it's like super clean, super modern and so we're gonna see how like uh, modern Pakistan is. I'm really excited to see. It's called uh, Barrier Town. Yeah, Barrier Town. So we're, we're leaving Karachi now. You can see these are all like the industrial trucks that are like colorful, well designed. And we're speeding down the highway with donkeys and uh, motorbikes everywhere. The chaos of Karachi. I love it. Uh, so it's like maybe an hour outside. Yeah. Outside. And yeah, I think it's like a separate city, I guess you would call it, but it's kind of like just outside Karachi. So you could say it's still part of Karachi. Anyway, there's Chalo Chale, explore, and then we're also going to go and see the adventure park there. Hopefully, we'll see. So he's pushing Welcome him. Welcome to Karachi. Is this one not working properly? Yeah, the other one is not working. This one is working. No way. So he's just doing it from this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Let's go see if we can say hi. Assalamu alaikum. Kaise ho? Acha? Wow. So dangerous, but I love it. Chalo! Chalo, chale! They just don't know any English, but they're just having Ask him what are you eating? Ask him what are you eating? This guy. Whoa! Dabba So here we go, guys. We are entering the toll. We are leaving Karachi and going into Hyderabad area. Hyderabad is another city. It's another city, but you are still in Karachi. Even yeah. after crossing the school. Okay. Uh, Hyderabad is also a place in India. Yeah, there is. Yeah, that's two. Our is original one, Indian one is the fake one. Oh. <laughs> Indians, don't comment, no, I'm, please. I'm very... He's joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are arriving. Barrier Town. You can see we've got one more toll and you can see in the distance we have the start of some smaller skyscrapers but still very developed. I'm very interested to see and we'll find out a little bit like when it started and stuff. Get some food and explore this modern city. This is Mashallah. Wow, this is Mashallah. Yeah. Mashallah. This is like reminds me of Dubai. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, look at this. It's like we're going into the future. So there's proper security to get in here as well. Um, instantly as you arrive, everything's super clean, zero rubbish. You got like skyscrapers, like you feel like you're in Dubai. You got palm trees, everything's super green. You can tell they've got money here because everything's like, they've got uh, the sprinklers on tap here. This reminds me of Sheikh Zaid Road. This has got like six lanes. It's got like palm trees both sides and lots of construction work. So this is like up and coming. Yeah. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buildings being built right now. These will be residential, you think? Uh, no, office. Office. Oh wow. This is like really exciting. They've got a cricket stadium, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, there is. Golf there is. club. Is this where Dreams World is? We've got a whole nother lane down there with more offices being built so this is like up and coming definitely give it 10 years and i predict this will be like the modern city of pakistan there we have adventureland where we will be going later inshallah when they open so everything's super spread out at the moment it's more like a town i'd say but uh, they have like I'm just seeing construction work everywhere so it's obviously got big plans oh my god <laughs> are you kidding me I've just seen the mosque and that is the largest mosque I've ever seen in my life yeah this is the largest mosque of Asia okay. Asia? yeah really? holy moly have you seen you didn't tell me about this have you seen any other mosque? Uh, Taj, Mahal Taj Mahal is Taj Mahal is the same size but that's not a mosque, that's a Muslim. Taj Mahal is old. This is insane. Oh my days, that's beautiful. It's white, it's got many domes. 
and it reminds me a little bit of the Abu Dhabi mosque because it's like a square. Yeah. Also the Lahore Lahore mosque. It's quite Bad-Shahi. big. Bad Shahi. No, Bad Shahi mosque is also not this big. Wow. Can we go in? This building, they're still building it, but this is incredible. So it looks like they're still in construction, so we're gonna try and get in, but uh, obviously we've got to respect the rules, slash not respect them. But uh, this is incredible. Built on like the top of a hill, and like they've really made an effort to make it large and grand. And it's called Jama Masjid Riaz. I think. All right, we are here. And look at this gigantic structure. Looks like uh, they don't want any end, end, uh, visitors because they're still building, but we're gonna try and see if we can go. Like obviously if they tell us to not come, then we will uh, we will listen. But we just wanna show you guys because this is beautiful. So I hope we're not annoying anyone. But uh, sometimes you gotta bend the rules a little bit. What? Look at the view. It's insane. This is where we just came from. It's like honestly, this could be Dubai. Oh my days! It's insane. Looks like we're just gonna walk right in, but I'm guessing it's not gonna be finished. Ah! All right, we're nearly here. We've gotta be careful. Uh oh, security. Okay, can I just run in? And... Okay, okay. I will just show them real quick. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Huh? You can see I won't go fully inside. Assalamu alaikum. I, I probably shouldn't be here because of health and safety. But yeah, I thought it would be more built than it is. And now security is coming together. So I will go back down. But uh, that's uh, very interesting to see. You can see there, it's gonna be a huge square and it's gonna look very beautiful. Uh, Botaja, I can go up? You come with. I want to see. Can can he come with us? Ask him if he can come with us. Can you like, go and go and go and go and go and go and go it's closed. Shukra, shukra. Thank you. Very nice guy. Okay. We've got about an hour until Adventureland opens. So let's go and uh, get some coffee, maybe get some food. And then uh, Adventureland. It looks incredible actually. So I'm really excited. I did not know there was a proper theme park in Pakistan because I came last time. I was looking for one and I struggled to find one. There was Chunky Monkey, but Chunky Monkey was not allowing me to go in because you have to be a family to go in. So. We're gonna go to Adventureland, inshallah. And guys, I'm gonna now show you, unfortunately we didn't get into that mosque, but there is another mosque, and this mosque is actually in operation. So, um, Abdul is gonna do a little prayer for five to 10 minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. Luckily I can go in, very kind of them to let me in, and I'm gonna respect all the rules, take my shoes off, and I might even actually clean myself because I'm really sweaty and dirty. I obviously learned about this in school, but I've never experienced that in my life. I've never been to a mosque and seen people pray. So it was really interesting for me to go and experience that. And obviously I didn't pray, but I was like kind of meditating whilst I was there. I meditate like every day when I can. So it was like really interesting. It's like the same kind of, we're both doing the same kind of thing. We're like taking time out of our busy day to reflect and think about the higher powers and things like that. So I really like it, I respect it and um, again, that mosque is so beautiful, like all the mosques I've been to are so beautiful and it's very cool in there, so that was nice. Abdul, is this where all the burgers live? Yeah. Is that offensive to say burgers? Yeah, very is it? No, offensive? No, no, not offensive. Not offensive. So anyone who's not watching, as far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong, but a burger is a Pakistani person who tries to be Western. Is that correct? Sorry? Uh, what's a burger? Yeah, that's called burger, yeah. Okay. Someone and is trying to act like... And Desi, Desi is someone who's local. Or something local. No. De like Desi food. And 
there we go that was a nice little prayer how was your prayer bro it's good what do the numbers on the board mean which numbers in front of you there's lots of numbers electronic numbers i didn't see them maybe the time or maybe it's some hits oh, okay Quranic verses. and did, do you do the same numbers. the same routine yeah five times a day no you like did, the... you did it also once right now <laughs> You know, like you stand up and then you kneel. Yeah, Is yeah. it the same routine? Yeah. Okay. Routine. Awesome. And yeah, for me, that's like I've. All right, guys, and we have arrived at Adventureland, which is the theme park in Karachi. Apparently, really good. And I've seen it looks very impressive. We got a Ferris wheel. We have got a huge ride where it goes really high and spins, and then we got the other spinny rides. I'll just show you when we get in. But it looks super awesome. But uh, Abdul here says he's not coming on any rides. So, how many likes for, for you to come on on a ride? <laughs> no way, no likes. How much? About $12? 2000 2000 okay. Well, I'm getting your ticket because you're coming on one of the rides. That's the I'll deal. Pay for you? No, 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 no. And here we go. Oh, it's like Disneyland. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, baby. We have arrived at. Adventureland. Ah, we've got the Scottish bab bagpipes. Oh, here we go. Oh, so that's interesting. You actually pay by your height. So this is the one time in life where short people have it easy. Because usually in life, short people don't have it easy, but you pay by height. So I'm paying the most expensive ticket because unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not that height yet. Maybe when I was like four. Hello, is it safe? The rides are safe? Very safe. My, my friend is too scared to, to go on the they, rides. He's going to take a full responsibility if anything happens to you. He is not going to die? No deaths? <laughs> okay, I don't know if he's going to Here's your the guy. Okay. Here's your guy. Oh, we got the Scottish bagpipes. Bagpipes here. Thank you, bro. Oh, wow. Now he has to ride. I'm, I'm glad I did that. Here we go. So around fifteen dollars a ticket. Around fifteen dollars a ticket for one of these bad boys. Assalamu alaikum. Kaiseo. Botocha. Shukran. Here we go. We're going. And we're, oh, we're greeted by Mickey Mouse and a panda. Wow. This looks super nice. Like obviously new. Definitely very new. And uh, we've got some adrenaline rides, we've got some kids rides. Hello Mickey Mouse! Que se ho? Hey Mac, how are you? <laughs> it's the Pakistani Mickey Mouse, wow. How did you get through immigration? Alright, we're through, we've got Pizza Hut, we've got Burger King, but we're full. So we're going to uh, go straight on the rides. On the most, we're going to go on the most adrenaline ride first. It's nice to actually have some company this time I, at, a, at a theme park. Because I went to one in India. And I was on my own and it was a little bit not great. Plus, it's this one's much nicer, cleaner and uh, quieter. The other one was busy, but this specific ride, they have this at all theme parks, the claw. This is the one we're going on, bro. And uh, in India, I can't remember the theme park, it's in Mumbai. And I went on it and then a couple of months later, it crashed. You ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> You're doing it. This one, right? No, no, no. <laughs> it looks like it's no one there. There's no staff. I was researching this place and it was fine. You were? Yeah, yeah. There's like two deaths a year. Uh. Two deaths a year. Like Two? Yeah, just on this ride, two two died a year. Two died? Yeah, yeah. So that's not bad. Like in India, it's like three, three died. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I make that joke every theme park I go to, by the way, guys. Is it open? Hello, we can go? Oh. It's not working. He's saying you there, there sh you should guys should be four of you. Okay, we are going. Should we go same same seat? So it turns out you need uh, two people to uh, 
sorry, four people to oh. be able to ride. So we're waiting for other people that are coming. There is a screw missing. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, bro, you got it. You got it, bro. Up cars here. Karachi. Karachi is in the bad. Everyone's so scared. <laughs> oh, this is a spinning one, and I just had chicken biryani. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna be so ill after this. I'm not worried about it being sick. We're going, we're stopping now. Oh. 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 We're stopping, we're stopping, we're stopping. You got this bro, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. I've never, never been Well done bro, you, you faced bread. your fears. Prayer call. Huh? Call to prayer. Yeah. Do they even have like a mosque here? A third time, a third. Sorry? A third time. Okay. And it happens five times a day? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna miss the train. Bye, Sab. Train? Oh, I, gotta, I gotta go to the station. We missed the train, guys. And now we've come to Kor, Kor Kaf for probably the scariest rides here. We've been recommended these two here. We'll see if they're available. We've also got this one, which like drops down, but that's not actually too high. Hello, sir. Can we come in? We've also got McDonald's, we've got a Ferris wheel, we've got a Palladium. All right, we have come to this ride here, probably the, the scariest ride, Aladdin's, but apparently a minimum of four people to do it. I mean, I'm pretty nervous to do it anyway. I've done it before somewhere else, but it still makes me a little bit nervous. So we'll ask. My sub, would you like to do this one? You need four, four people. Yeah. Four people to do this. Yeah. You go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting them to say yes, and they were just like, yeah, fine. <laughs> These guys seem so calm about it. Like, ready? Oh, I'm very nervous now. Oh, uh, uh, I don't want to go. Up can't say. Karachi? Lahore. Lahore? Yeah. Lahore is good. Okay, bye, sub. Safe? 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 Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Probably gonna swear, guys. So apologize in advance. Don't know why I'm so nervous this time. Like I've done this before. I think I've done it twice or once. But I always sign up for these things without thinking of the actual repercussions and not realizing that I'm about to go 100 meters in the air. But I'm just talking because that will help get rid of the nerves. <sighs> oh, so we're gonna have to wait at the top for the other two to get in. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my God, this is so high. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This is probably a hundred meters up. You can see the mosque. You can see another mosque over there and barrier town over there. Oh my God. If I drop my GoPro now, it's gone. This is how high we are right now. Hello, bro. <laughs> fear is something your mind makes up. Fear is just like, it's, it doesn't exist. And you can combat fear by taking action and just doing things that you don't want to do. I didn't want to do this ride, but I know after I do the ride, I'll feel better. I want to keep doing stuff like this and showing that fear is just part of, it's just self-made, it's like a mental thing. It's not physical and anyone can get over fear. Even me at the top of a roller coaster in Pakistan, Karachi, Pakistan. Can we hurry up down there, please? Keep me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Here we go. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. 
give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, keep me burning to the break of day. Oh sh! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, let me just air out. Oh no! Oh, sh shit! I'm sorry for that swearing! Oh my god, this is the scariest thing I've ever done in my life! Ah! <laughs> the G Force! Yeah. Oh, oh, we're still going. Yeah! Hello! Uh, stopped? Okay, we stopped. Sorry for my swearing, I'll probably have to beep that out. But sometimes when you get in these situations, uh, <laughs> you don't know what comes out. Anyway, that was incredible. Such a good experience. And again, like I said, I survived to tell the tale. And now I can tell you that uh, I feel better. Fear is just uh, mental. The adrenaline pumping through my body right now is insane. Like I feel high. It's fun. Very fun. Very Thank fun. you. <sighs> nice up. Good? Good? Well done. I'm literally sweating because that was so scary. <laughs> really good though. That was the best one. All right, we've got Rail Blazer, the rail, actual roller coaster. This is the only actual roller coaster here. It looks pretty cool. You coming, bro? It's, this is easy. I think this one, they said only 10 people died. <laughs> I need to stop making that joke. Oh, we have some lads joining us. Look at that, straight to the front. Safe? Very safe. safe. Okay, front, I can go front. Okay, shukra, here we go. It's funny, there's no theme to this roller coaster usually. I don't think there's a theme. Usually like, there's a theme like a racing car or something. <laughs> yeah, come on bro. Okay. I need to get your reaction though. Come here, I need to get your reaction. It's safe. Yeah. Tell, tell me it's safe. All right, here we go. Well, you got your phone out. You're brave. Don't drop, don't lose that actually. Be careful. All right, here we go. I've been told to keep all the hands inside the vehicle. Have we got any, anybody with us? Hello. We're going up. We've got a nice view of Barrier Town. Everyone ready? Uh-oh. That means it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> open your eyes, keep them open. <laughs> Gee. Oh shit, it's right. Bumpy! It's a little bit bumpy! Oh shit! You okay? Yeah. Here we go! Right? Yeah. No, we do two laps. No, no, just... We actually hit heads. It's really rickety. Yeah, we just hit our heads. <laughs> yeah. So good though. So much fun. And there we go. We are now leaving the famous Adventureland. I would say, all in all, it's a very good theme park. Very safe, very clean. Obviously, no queues. And everyone's nice. Uh, staff were really helpful. Yeah, that was a really good experience. I would recommend it. Like roughly $24 for two people, I believe. Assalamu alaikum. Keseho? Ooh. Egg chicken biryani. Egg Oreo milkshake. You want a milkshake? Sure? Okay, that's it. Kidney? Uh, Danian. See, they got, they've actually got uh, pani puri. $5.70. Okay, shukriya. Shukriya, yeah. We've got beef burgers. we got. Uh, Chicken biryani, chicken palau, and then the shakes and the ice cream. Shukriya. Looks very good. And we're the only ones here. Bismillah. Bismillah rahman rahim Safe food. Uh, how'd you say it? Bismillah. Bismillah. El Rahma. El Rahma. Nir Rahim. Bismillah El Raha min Rahma. I'm so bad at learning languages, bro. Ooh, shukriya by self. Look at this. Oreo milkshake. Yummy, yummy. All right, let's try this. We've got some spicy chicken biryani. 
This is first time in Pakistan. Oh, that's good. We need a little bit more chicken. You're eating biryani for the first time? No, first time this trip. Oh. I had chicken biryani loads. Mmm. Wow. The rice is really nice because it's like got so much flavor in. Like when I cook rice, it's just plain rice. White. White rice. This has got aromatic spices, vegetables, and it's just like got retained the chicken flavor. And then the chicken is just standard chicken, like uh, got some spices and mm -hmm. flavors, but it's just uh, standard chicken with very tender, very good off the bone. And a big portion, you know, this is for two people, so it's, I'm glad we got it. Something about it, like when you have the rice on its own, something is spicy. So I wonder, like you get the odd bit of spice. I think it's like these leaves here, is that spicy? Yeah. What's the spicy bit? It's not the leaf, this is actually the lemon thingy. What makes it spicy? The lime masala. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat this. Which? This is Imli. You said don't eat it. Huh? You said don't eat it. You can try this. It's not a spicy, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's raw. It's not an Indian. Throw it away. Oh my god. That's insane. You want some, bro? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's <laughs> so good. So good. Wait, two dollars for this. Yeah. Oh my days, that's insane. The cheap? Mm. Alright guys, we are finishing off. Finish this absolute crazy Oreo milkshake. One of the favorite, one of my favorite like Oreo milkshakes I've had. We've also finished the biryani. Delicious. And uh, yeah, all around good meal for a very good price. Abdul, I'm gonna put you on the spot. If you have to say your favorite thing and your least favorite thing about Pakistan? What would you say? Okay. The people of Pakistan and something I don't like about Pakistan? Yeah. The politics. Mm. That's the exact same as what Lebanese people said. I asked them the same question. They said they love the people, they hate the, the government. Yeah. That's a fair the answer. People are nice but the politics and the political parties have created a difference between yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much like that in yeah. a lot of areas of the other world. Shukriya. Thank you very much. It was a uh, bota cha. Alright, now we are going to have a look at one of the villas here. Luckily, Abdul knows someone who owns a villa in Barrier Town, so we're going to have a look. These look really nice. Really, really nice. You see, you just buy a plot of land and then make a little gated house. Alright, let's have a look. It's a little bit of a building site, but you guys can see what a house in here would look like. And we'll see the builders. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Kaise Working very hard. Working hard or hardly working? I'm joking. They're having a break. This is the kitchen. And none of them speak English, so I can just say what I want. This is the dining room and the lounge. <laughs> can you give me a tour? Okay. So it's a nice little, uh, just like a family house, I guess. Or it could be like your second home. You could live in Karachi and this could be your second home. Obviously this is for the wealthy people, but it's really, really nice. You've got like a little, uh, I guess this could be another lounge upstairs or like an office with some nice views of the community. You can see the hills, the mosque that we went to earlier is somewhere around here. And then got like aircon, fan, painted very nice. And then bedroom one with a balcony and en suite. Bedroom two. And finally, I guess this could be the third bedroom. So they have the flat roof here in Pakistan. Back where I'm from in the UK, you have never have a flat roof because obviously the amount of rain we get. Pretty awesome. I would love to have a flat roof. Just come up here in the evening, watch the sunset. You can just see the whole of the area. And like, perfect temperature right now. Because it's the evening. 
I've had an incredible time here and I really would recommend Barrier Town if you're looking to get out of the city and of course if you're looking to move here as well but I'm, I'm guessing it, it's like uh, $90,000 for one of these yeah 90k yeah 90k US dollars for a two bedroom house villa in Barrier Town I don't know if that's expensive for Pakistan but in the UK that's like uh, pretty pretty inexpensive so I'm really cool oh they got them working young here 11 child labor. wow oh child labor yeah I do not condone this thank you so much to Abdul for driving me here would have been hard to get here without him I would have had to have maybe got on a motorbike and tried to get here <laughs> or a motor taxi which would have been interesting or a tuk-tuk yeah Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.